and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a fun collaboration with Glitter to Gaming. Um, we got in contact a few weeks ago and wanted to do a collab on our favorite shows. Um, if you want to check out her video, the link will be below and you can click on it and go check out her channel and her video because she's amazing and you guys should check her out. So my favorite show is Blue Exorcist and I really wanted to recreate a look inspired by the main character Rin. Um, if you have not seen Blue Exorcist, it's a really, really good anime um, and, you know, manga as well. So definitely check that out if you're interested. But I really wanted to kind of bring his characteristics to life. Um, definitely a lot of the blues and fire, well, aka glitter. Um, and I've been actually wanting to do a look inspired by him for a very long time. And when I got in contact with her, it just all fell into place. So, if you want to know how I got this look, stay tuned. So, first thing I did was apply a primer all over my lid, and I just used the Mary Kay Pri Eyelid Primer. And this is great for either loose shadows or matte shadows, which we're going to be using mainly matte today. And then I took the e.l.f. Glitter Mascara in Teal, and I kind of combed it through my brow. Um, I also did my brows in black. Um, so the glitter mascara would show up a lot better and it looks more, it looks better with black eyebrows. So I just kind of brushed it through. And now I'm going to take a piece of scotch tape that I put on the back of my hand to make sure it's not as sticky. Because we're not trying to rip off skin here. And I'm just going to place it on the side of my eye. If you're, you know, better at doing the whole kind of cat eye look, you don't need to do this, but... Honestly, I can't. <laughs> Every time I try, it looks a hot mess. So, all the products I'm using today are super affordable and very, 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 very easy to get. So, first thing I'm using is the Wet n Wild um, Center Stage Collection Palette by Fergie. And this is in Desert Festival. And I'm using the lightest um, kind of creamy shade, and I'm going to use a small angled brush, small angle, uh, and I'm going to use a small fluffy tapered brush, and I'm going to kind of put that in my crease, but because I have hooded eyelids, I'm going to bring it up a little bit more than my actual crease, just to kind of give a fake crease, so that way my eyes won't hide all the makeup. Um, if you have hooded eyes, you can do this as well. If you don't have hooded eyes, then you can just do it in your natural crease. But I'm going to kind of create my own crease, kind of where my brow bone kind of, yeah, where my brow bone begins. So, I'm just adding that as a transition shade. And it's a really light color, so it's kind of hard to see. But it'll help a lot with the blending process. And it just looks a lot better that way. And once that is done, I'm going to take a matte white, and I'm just using the Sleek um, Ultra Matte Palette. But you can use, of course, any kind of palette that you have with mattes, or you can use shimmers. And the color I'm using is called Pow, I believe. And it's just a matte white. I'm just going to lightly put it under my eyebrow for a highlight. And so the first color I'm going to use is also from that palette, and it is called Bolt, and it's a really nice, darkened, bright, 
blue. And then the second color is this really fun, kind of light blue color called Chill. And so I'm going to start with the dark blue and put that on the inner and outer portions of my lid. And this is where the tape really comes in handy. So you can get right up against the tape and not have to worry. So like I did with the previous um, shade color, I'm going to bring it up past my normal crease just because of my hooded lid. You don't have to do that obviously, but um, I'm just going to do it just so it kind of makes my eyes look a little bit bigger and you can actually sh see the shadow. And if you do not have these, this um, particular palette, the Wet n Wild Fergie palette in Maldives Sky works really well and just have like any matte white or even a shimmery white um, eyeshadow for your highlight. And you can also find Sleek on Amazon or eBay for pretty affordable prices. You have to look though because they some people will try to rip you off so you do have to look. So now that I've applied that, I'm going to go in with that chill color, it's a really light baby blue, on a flat brush and just kind of pack it on to the center and blend. And this will help your eyes look bigger and just more round and it's a really good technique for hooded eyes as well just to kind of bring them forward and then I want to kind of deepen up the dark blue a little bit so I'm going to go in with the Fergie Wet n Wild Mabivi <laughs> bleh Maldives Sky and I'm going to use that dark dark blue just literally tap it twice and add it on both of the darker sides this will just add a little bit more depth and dimension and then I'm going to take that shimmery light blue as well this one and just kind of add it around the lash line just to make sure that the color is really opaque right there now that that's done I'm going to add some winged liner and I'm going to use my elf liquid precision liner and this is just the black and I'm going to do a pretty extreme cat eye like I did on this other side and of course if you're not really good with liquid liner or pencil liner or anything, this tape will be an amazing friend to you. Okay, so now I'm going to add mascara. I'm just going to use my CoverGirl Mega Curl Flame Gut Mascara. And this is in black, it's black, I believe. Very black blaze, excuse me. The blackest color they have. <laughs> and then going over it to my Urban Decay Mega Curl Mascara as well, just to help. my lashes. I find that these two combinations work so well together. Now, the fun, awesome part. We are going to add more glitter. Yes, I said more glitter. To kind of emulate Ren's fire when he turns into his demon mode. I'm taking both the e.l.f. Um, glitter mascaras in 
silver and teal and I'm just going to use a lip brush. This is a MAC 311. Yeah, 311. And I'm going to add that on mainly the outer part of my liner. I'm not going to bring it all the way in, kind of where the end of my iris is. So, about halfway. And now the silver. If you also have like, you know, liquid glitter liner, that would work too. Or just really any glitter. I'm going to line my lower lash line and waterline with the Berkey Way and Wild um, liner in Midnight Girl. Smudging it out a bit. And that's the finished eye. I'm going to go ahead and do my face and then I will be right back. Okay, so I finished with my face, and I just did some basic, um, dumb so inspired contouring. I didn't add any blush, but I did add highlighter on the tops of my cheeks, bridge of my nose, forehead, chin, and along the jawline, um, to kind of go with the Denzel inspired, um, contour. So, for lip, I am using the... M Cosmetics Shea Play Lip Color Palette and I'm going to use the two darkest shades, this one and this one and I'm just going to apply that on the inner portion of my lip but I applied concealer all over my lips so that way they're nice and pale and just adding this dark color on the inner part and that is my finished look I really hope you guys enjoyed it and definitely check out Glitter to Gaming's look um, for her favorite show I hope you guys enjoyed this collab and give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you have not and I will talk to you later bye